In this presentation, we're going to explain what diesel exhaust fluid or reductant actually is. Describe the selective catalytic reduction diesel exhaust fluid system. Explain the exhaust fluid level indicators, the engine power D-rate function, and illustrate some diagnostic tips and tricks. First, let's talk about the question that's on everyone's mind. What on earth is diesel exhaust fluid? Diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, is a solution made from approximately one-third urea and two-thirds highly purified deionized water. Urea is a compound of nitrogen that turns to ammonia when heated, and although highly corrosive, if you wash it off with water right away, there are no ill effects to you or your skin, but avoid any DEF contact with electrical components. DEF freezes at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius, and no chemicals can be added to prevent freezing. Ice in the tank is normal. However, the DEF tank reductant heater and sender assembly will thaw enough DEF in the tank and lines to run the vehicle. DEF contamination is a critical issue, but the vehicle's NOx sensor can detect some types of contamination. When the NOx sensor doesn't detect NOx conversion taking place, it sets DTC P207F. Only Ford Motor Company approved or API certified DEF should be used. Also, be sure to use the filler spout that came with the DEF bottle. There is no suitable replacement, and adding anything to the system other than Ford approved or API certified DEF will render the system inoperable. If any petroleum product is intentionally or accidentally added to the system, it will damage all the rubber components and the entire system will need to be replaced. This will not be covered under warranty. Beginning in 2011, the United States Environmental Protection Agency lowered the maximum output of nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide in tailpipe exhaust gases, essentially forcing the manufacturers to equip all diesel engine powered vehicles with a mechanism to reduce these gases. You may know them as NOx. At Ford, we use the Selective Catalytic Reduction System, or SCR, to accomplish that task. Through the SCR, DEF is injected and mixed into the engine exhaust flow to chemically break down the NOx gases into nitrogen and water vapor. How do we measure the amount of DEF in the tank? Remember that DEF freezes at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius, so we can't use a tank float to indicate how much DEF is remaining. And remember also that ice in the tank is a normal occurrence. Instead, there are three conductive stainless steel pins in the reductant heater and sender assembly to indicate the fluid level at various intervals. Fluid level is determined by the number of pins that are submerged by the DEF. The DEF level at which the vehicle enters the warning chain is based on the DEF consumption rate for the last 800 miles driven for 2011 model year vehicles and 500 miles driven for 2012 and beyond model year vehicles after the second pin has been cleared plus a small required reserve amount. DTC P203F will be set if the vehicle is entered the vehicle is speed limited phase of the warnings. Here are a few tips for diagnosing and servicing the reductant system. There are four reductant system assemblies that do not have individually serviceable components. They are the pump assembly, the heater and sender assembly, the pressure line, and the reductant injector. Remember, these are assembly replacements only. When working with the pump assembly, you should be very careful around the pump nipple. If it's broken, the entire pump assembly must be replaced. Don't use any lubricants to aid in assembly because they may contaminate the system. When replacing the pump assembly, dirt from your work area and from the top of the heater sender assembly will contaminate the DEF just as easily as the lubricants. So be diligent in keeping clean the areas that the pump contacts.
remember to prime the new pump as specified in the included instructions before installing it. Putting anything into the DEF tank, other than Ford approved or API certified DEF, can swell the rubber components in the system such as the O-rings, the pump head, and the pump diaphragm. Hydrocarbon contaminants such as diesel fuel, gasoline, cetane booster, and anti-gel additives will cause a failure of the rubber components as well and set DTCs relating to no pressure buildup. If any of these DTCs have been set, follow normal diagnostics to determine the root cause. Another method of detecting contamination, other than reading the DTCs, is to sniff around the reductant system components for odors other than ammonia. If you suspect DEF contamination, check for a deformed heater and sender assembly seal in the tank under the lock ring. A deformed seal confirms the contamination and all components of the system must be replaced at the customer's expense. Now let's take a look at some of the DTCs associated with the SCR DEF system. For complete DTC descriptions, other possible causes, and diagnostic aids, please refer to the appropriate PCED. First, DTCs associated with the pump. P204B is for reductant pressure sensor circuit range and performance. This is set if the pump pressure is greater than 4.4 psi or 30 kilopascals above ambient atmospheric pressure, indicating a slow responding or damaged reductant pressure sensor. P208A indicates that the reductant pump control circuit is open. P208B points to a concern with the reductant pump A control circuit range and performance. P208C Reductant pump control circuit voltage is low or high in comparison with a calibrated voltage for a calibrated amount of time. P20E8 flags a failure to build reductant pressure. The system will generate this code if the PCM reads a pressure of less than 51 PSI or 350 kilopascals within 45 seconds after starting the pump. P202D. If this DTC is set, there is a suspected reductant leakage while active dosing. TSB 1162 addresses the simultaneous occurrence of DTCs P20E8 and P202D. Next, let's talk about the DTCs associated with failure of the reductant heater and sender assembly. P203A, B, C, and D are all related to the level sensor and associated circuits. P2043 sets for the reductant temperature sensor circuit range and performance. This is a plausibility check on the reductant temperature sensor after completing a 6-hour cold soak by comparing the reductant temperature signal, RDT, to the ambient air temperature signal, AAT, and engine coolant temperature signal, ECT, on startup. This DTC sets if the RDT deviates more than 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius from the AAT and the ECT. The PCM monitors the reductant temperature sensor circuits for high and low voltage and may set one of two codes. The test fails and a code is set if the voltage exceeds or falls below a calibrated limit for a calibrated amount of time. P205C is set when the reductant tank temperature sensor circuit has low voltage. P205D sets 
when the reductant tank temperature sensor circuit has high voltage. P20BA indicates that reductant heater A control has a performance issue. During a Keon engine running self-test, the PCM enables the Glow Plug Control Module, or GPCM, which monitors the conductance of each reductant heater during peak power and compares it to an expected threshold. When the GPCM detects that the reductant heater conductance is out of tolerance with this threshold, it sends a message to the PCM which sets this DTC. The GPCM has an active role in managing the current required for the operation of the DEF heater system. Finally, DTCs primarily attributed to the reductant pressure line. P20BD is set when the reductant heater control circuit is open. P20BE sets when there is a reductant heater control performance issue. Special Service Message 21300 addresses a crushed reductant pressure line concern on pickup trucks due to shipping damage. For specific, more detailed diagnosis of the Ford SCR DEF system, please refer to the PCED.